Welcome back to AI it's so many files, my name is Jake. We are at the end game, I would presume. How are you feeling? Your head clearing up? We have switched bodies with Saito to our original bodies, I guess. But I was inside Saito. Saito's eye socket, so I guess that's in our advantage. <laughs> so yeah, let's see what happens. Dots. I've been waiting. I really want you to enjoy this show. I need you to see it clearly. Awake. Looking at it. Yeah, let's just get on with it. Can't look at the thingy. Uh, about, uh, let's look at first. Say it over to that. About Rohan after the personal change. Stop right there. Six years ago, Rohan, in Falco's body, visited Hitomi's house and tried to kill her. But that didn't go very well. He was arrested by the police. He was sent to trial and sentenced to life in prison. It only makes sense. Falco was an assassin responsible for countless murders. The title Assassin makes it sound so clean and professional, doesn't it? But he was a murderer. A serial killer. I guess. Life in prison was a light sentence as far as I'm concerned. You deserved far worse. Consider yourself lucky. Dots. What was Falco's real name? <laughs> you would know more about that than me. Or do you not remember? You've been using other men's names for so long you don't even know your own. It's Yagyu. Hayato Yagyu. Yes, that's right. You're a Japanese native who worked as a police officer. Imagine, a police officer being a serial killer. I don't think the public would react kindly to that if they found out. Heads would roll. Departments would fold. There would be shameful suicides. So your superiors decided that erasing every record of your existence was the preferable option. Hayato Yagyu ceased to exist. Oof. And Falco, the anonymous assassin, was sent to prison, where he was known as Number 89. Fitting for a man with no name. Um, what happened after we exchanged minds? What are you doing? Follow him! After the sink six years ago, I became a parasite in Rohan's body. But I was broken. The sink only sent data to my brain piece by piece. Peace. But that error did allow me to escape prison. No, stop. It was Rohan who was accused of injuring Hitomi. Naturally, I went to trial, being the one inside Rohan's body at the time. For a violation of firearms law and attempted murder. However. 
forever. Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that he was insane at the time. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. Well, I guess he <laughs> was really insane. Counterattack. That will go well. Saito is off guard. I might be able to make a move. I tried to sweep Saito's feet. But then... You have a choice. Iris and Hitomi. Die before these two or after. I would of course prefer that you choose the latter. It would be quite a lonely affair with no one watching. Guts. So, what do you want to do? I'll give you to the count of three. One. Two. Three. Oh, shit. No, wait! Momo with the sword. Damn. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But are you really Dante? Yeah. How'd you know? Yeah, someone called Iba told me about it. It was weird. It was kind of like eavesdropping. Iba? Where is she? I don't see her anywhere. <laughs> Inside his left eye socket. I guess it might be a pretty interesting uh, voice actor role for. <laughs> Date and and for like I said, I should say, I should say Falco. What's wrong? Since you have to at times be the bad guy and for most of the game. Uh, be the good guy for Date and then was at Saito afterwards. <laughs> Sorry, but Bastard got me. Take this. Do it. Tessa and her mom are in danger, right? Please save them. I gave a firm nod and gripped the gun, following after Saito. She. Iris! Ah! Date, do you like fireworks? I love them. A brilliant, glimmering fragment of time. The flash begins as a perfectly ordered chemical reaction that melts into chaos. Human lives are the same, are they not? As is the universe itself. Damn it! I can't get into my sight. I can't get any help from Iba. <laughs> it's kind of weird that when we were in Boss's body, uh, that is thoughts were with his old voice, and now they're with the <laughs> new one. Gloomy, scattering in the moment, and it's only a single moment, isn't it? A unique moment that you can never revisit. That's what makes life beautiful. Don't you think so? Should I just risk it? But if I miss, I'll hit Iris. But I've spoken enough. It's showtime. I will show you the most beautiful fireworks you've ever seen. The scattering of the cerebral plasma. The splattering blood. It's art. Perfect. Beautiful art of a lonely moment in time. Don't blink. I want this to burn into your retinas. Well, the one you have left. Damn it! What do I do? Hmm, will I get some kind of choice? I'm not sure what to do actually. What do I do? Toria! 
Oh, ninja Mizuki. Mizuki! You bastard! What do you think you're doing to Iris? Tessa! I'm here to help! Wait, Mizuki! Ouch. <laughs> you get punched that far. Someone that far. Did you find him? No, I can't find him anywhere. Where the hell is he? Soup. Did he go through the door? I didn't hear it open. Is he still nearby? Maybe. Mm. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Let's start to this. Our Date and Friends squad. Oda is looking at me uneasily. When did you get here? Some girl named Iba told me to come. I heard everything. About the mind swapping too. I heard it too. From Saito. Dots. It's really you, right? Dots. You came to help? Yeah, of course. If I didn't come, who would? Oh, but don't flatter yourself, Date. We didn't come here for you. We're here to save Iris and Hitomi. Right. Got it. I can't think about him right now. I need to find Saito and Hitomi. How's your foot? I'm fine. This is nothing. Stop worrying about me and go get that guy. Mizuki is leaning against Iris. I'm worried about her, but right now I need to find Saito. Iris is holding up Mizuki. Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Go save my mom. Iris seems to be okay. I need to find Saito. So over <laughs> there. Date! Hitomi? Hitomi! I sprinted as fast as I could. Rushing up the stairs, step after step until they blurred together. When I reached the top floor, a sight I will never forget greeted my eye. Seems I have an even bigger audience now. That's fine. Having more spectators will be a treat for us all. You all want to see, don't you? The fireworks? <laughs> oh, am I wrong? <gasps> so you don't want to see the fireworks? Fine. Let's do this then. Date, drop your weapon. I promise I'll put the fireworks on hold. I'll even release this woman. He's lying, Date! Don't do it! Throw down your gun, Date. I guess we will. Ah, I see. You don't intend to take me up on my generous proposal? Date! You want to shoot me, is that it? Then do it. But you only get one shot. You have to kill me with one bullet. If you don't, the fireworks show will begin in earnest. And I will blow this woman's brains into the sky. What will it be, Tate? What will you do? Should I pull the trigger? Well. I think if we really do get a choice here. Not Pulling the trigger would leave our fate in 
Scythos Pants, who is a psychopath, or Ibas, that Iba will do the sparkly, sparkly thing and shut Scytho down. Um, pulling the trigger would mean that we'd have to hit. And hope that the air is in the air. Like it would have to kill him instantly, so he would pull the trigger and blah 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 blah. blah. Like <laughs> I only see bad options with not pulling the trigger, but it also feels feels wrong in this kind of situation. Like, is this gun even accurate enough? <laughs> Moma couldn't hit anything with it before. But yeah, I guess we'll try to shoot him. I feel like that's the wrong choice, but... The one with more positive outcomes, I guess. Saito is pushing Evolver's muscle against the Omis Temple. Then again, maybe Aiba will do something. So let's... Let's not. Let's trust in Aiba. Don't pull that trigger. I feel like this well will done. end bad. Well, <laughs> I got achievement. Cooler heads prevail. However, you aren't out of the woods yet. You have to throw your gun down, remember? You have one minute. If that weapon is still in your hands, I'll start the fireworks. And one more thing. If any of you move, I'll skip down to zero. Dutch. Let's begin. Ready? 59. 58. Date, look! It's that girl I told you about. Aiba. Date, I do not have much time. Listen carefully. As I mentioned previously, I cannot escape this body. The surge of electricity shorted out my circuits. I cannot administer a paralyzing electric shock either. Oof. However, there is another option. Huh? Some kind of suicide bomb. Self-destruct. I think that was mentioned, yeah. Let us determine a code number. Oh, I, I don't remember what, what the things were. Command 41205. If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? How about if I tell a lie? A lie? Well, something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Is your data stored in the cloud? Unfortunately, that data has all been deleted. Damn you, Peter. I'm speaking to you using only local data. Then, if your body is destroyed... Correct. I will be destroyed as well. Ten. Nine. Say it, Date. Six. Five. Date, command. Two. One. <laughs> you are even more of an idiot than I thought. Do I look like the kind of man who keeps his promises? <laughs> well, no. Just... Now you get to see five fireworks. If you didn't drop your gun, there would have only been one. You understand? After I dispose of this woman, I will pop their heads as well. Just... <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Fortunately for you, you won't have long to regret it. Yes. 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 The burning in your eye. I see it now. Watch. Eyes open. Watch this woman die. See her brain burn like fireworks. Yes. Iba, can you hear me? Yes. 
We don't have a choice. Gets. 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 Command. Four. One. Two. Zero. Five. Okay. Sate. I. I. I hate you, and I never want to see you again. Second command confirmed. I understand. Be seeing you. Yeah, gross. Rest in peace, Ipa. Aiba always been in your left eye? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you'd be jealous. Huh? Thank you so much, Uncle. No, don't thank me. Thank my partner. Mr. Falco. It is you, Falco, right? You shouldn't call me that. I am Konami Date, MPD, Special Investigation Team Abyss. Sinker. Yeah, I guess he doesn't have all the memories back, I guess. Three months later. Ikume Shrine. Three months later. Uncle, your left eye. Oh, this? <laughs> it's just a prosthetic. It doesn't bother me. Oh, good. Oh, last time we. You know, if we had some fishing line and gum. Looking around. I never thought you'd be an offering box thief. No, no. You've got it all wrong. I swallowed a goldfish. I'm trying to get it out by swallowing some fishing line. Are you sure your brain is fully recovered? Oh, yeah. That was a <laughs> thing as well. <laughs> These statues are supposed to be inspired by sphinxes from Egypt. That went to India, then China, then all the way to Japan. Really? I didn't know that. Praying Mantis! What are you doing? Praying Mantis Fist! Mizuki taught me. Not sure what that has to do with anything. Should she really be doing that? Oh man, Uncle, have you heard this story? A long time ago when I came to the shrine with Mizuki, she started washing out her belly button in the Chozuya. Someone told her that's what you do. <laughs> I would tell something like that. Huh. 
Is that right? just felt like I heard someone talking. What? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Do you know what it says? When listening to music on your smartphone with wireless earphones, you must be sure it is properly synced with your device. And that's what it says. That is absolutely not what it says. Uh, anything else? You've been looking at that rope for a while. Why is that? Hmm? No reason. <laughs> okay, I doubt it. Mm, guess that's it. Iris is the next to me. How are you? <laughs> As you can see, I'm great. Hop, hop. Kangaroo goes hop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad the surgery went well. Yeah. The nanomachines went pew, pew, and bzz, bzz, and got rid of all the tumors. At least, that's what I think they sound like. I don't know. They're small. Anyway, everything is fine now. The doctor even said I can dance again. That's the most important thing. All thanks to the boss. She paid for the treatment. Can you believe it? That's not exactly true. Boss didn't pay out for a bucket. It was a confidential transfer of funds from the main office. Iris knows everything about the original and new Cyclops serial killings now. Not just her, Hitomi, Mizuki, Ota, Moma, they all know. The higher ups were willing to do anything to keep it from getting out. So in return for her silence, they agreed to pay for Iris' treatment. Maybe I owe it to the shrine. I feel like I ate the fruit of immortality in a dream somewhere. Dutch. Dutch. Then I guess you're immortal, huh? <laughs> we'll see 50 years from now. Dreamy. Uh, do you like my new buddy? The way you are now is more familiar for me anyway, so my old uncle is back, you know? Dutch. Besides, I don't care what you look like. You're always uncle to me. Isn't that how it should be? To judge by our hearts and not by our appearance? So I'm really that ugly, huh? <laughs> no, no. It's a rugged kind of handsome. Why did you want to come here? Because of the memories. I wanted to come here with uncle again. Ratty cake, ratty cake. Baker's man. Bake me a cake. I wonder how many times you see this flashback. <laughs> to my question mm, what question when am i gonna hear good news from you two when will uncle be my dad i turned away without answering i stared out into the, blah, 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 into the distance and something caught my eye Winter Iris is in full bloom. Well, let's get going. Yeah, we still have a lot of people to see. Yesterday, Iris was discharged from the hospital. Iris said that she wanted to see everyone who visited her. But she's a little embarrassed to go by herself, so I promised I'd take her. We also have to get home. Hmm? Shovel Forge. <laughs> If you try it, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But we do have a date, don't we? The date we had three months ago isn't over yet. So let's go!
<laughs> I guess th this is like the first time you can't even look at, look at them. Uh, oh god, so many places. Let's start from marble. Dante, honey, who is this? Have I not introduced her before? I'm Iris Sagan. Nice to meet you. I'm a net idol from Lemniscape. A virgin? Hmm? I'm just saying, sweetie. You look like you don't know a lot of men. <laughs> and what about you, Mama? Me? I'm a fairy godmother, honey, because I associate with fairies and am an older motherly woman. Wait a minute. Who are you calling old? You are. Sup, dude. So's bodyguard. You. You're so's bodyguard. Uh, who are you? All right, he wouldn't recognize this face. Don't matter. You're talking about so? Quit that gig long time ago. At least you didn't get murdered in this timeline. By lightning bolts and crazed Misugi. You quit? Yeah. That guy fucking sucks. I punched him in the face and I quit. You're drunk, aren't you? You're drunk, aren't you? I'm not drunk. From the look of you, you're pretty good at hiding it. Mama! Tits! Whoops. I meant tip. I got a big tip. If he gives me one more drinky. Don't you think you've had enough? No. No. Oh, you're lucky I'm in a good mood. Fine. One more round, okay? Yay. Hmm. I feel like this is going to take a while still, so I'll end this episode here and next one. We'll visit all the places. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.